This is an interesting differential equation that we're going to solve by separation of variables. And one of the reasons it's a little bit tricky is that at first glance, it doesn't even look if it can be done by separation of variables. Because, of course, remember, for separation of variables, we need to get it into the form dy dx equals f of x g of y, where the function of x and the function of y are separable. But, of course, we can take y out of this as a factor, leaving us with dy dx equals y x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 1 and here we have our uh, g of y and here we have our f of x so we can separate them and therefore we have that the integral of dy over y is equal to the integral of x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 1 dx. Now the left hand side is fairly uh, straightforward, that's a log of y. It's the right hand side we have to look at. Now because x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 1 are the same order, they're both quadratics, we normally have to do long division. But because the coefficient of this is 1 and the coefficient of this is 1, we know that when we divide 1 by the other we are going to get 1 plus something. And therefore we can rewrite x squared add 1 over x squared minus 1 as x squared minus 1 add 2, which is the same thing obviously, over x squared minus 1. And we can then rewrite that as 1 add 2 over x squared minus 1. So we have managed to split it without actually bothering doing the long division. Now 2 over x squared minus 1, we have to now do partial fractions. That equals a over x minus 1 add b over x plus 1. So therefore we have that 2 is equal to a x plus 1 add b x minus 1, which equals a x add a add b x minus b. Comparing coefficients of x, we get that a plus b is 0. And comparing the constants, we get that a minus b is equal to 2. And solving that very uh, um, simple simultaneous equation, we get that a equals 1 and b equals minus 1. So finally, we can go back to our right-hand side and rewrite that. So we have log y on the left is equal to the integral on the right of 1 add 1 over x minus 1 minus 1 over x plus 1 dx. And now we can integrate that, which equals x add log of x minus 1 minus log of x plus 1 plus our constant of integration. Now we can write x, just tidying this up, we can write x as log of e to the x, obviously log of e to the x is just x, and we can write our constant as log of e to the c, and then what, so that gives us log of e to the x add log of x minus 1 minus log of x plus 1 add log of e to the c, and we can combine all that using our log rules, that equals log of e to the c, e to the x, x minus 1 over x plus 1, uh, and as e to the c is just a constant, we could replace that by k, for example, so that equals log of k e to the x, x minus 1 over x plus 1, and that equals log of y, and therefore we have that y is equal to k e to the x, x minus 1 over x plus 1 as the general solution to our differential equation as required. Okay, hope you found this useful. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to the Gresty Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.